was a time when we saw the white man, our colon colonial powers, as, um, as our enemies. But I think, no, not that I think, something that is worse than an enemy is a traitor. Yes. And when our own, when we won our freedom, some of our countries were led by some of the most noble nationalists, you know, of our time. But at the same time, with the passage of time, some of them became treacherous and rather betrayed our aspirations. In, in effect, what I'm trying to say is that um, um, as bad as an enemy can be, I think something worse than an enemy is a traitor. We've, we've end, ended up evolving in the process of trying to modernize. We've ended up rather, ended up being westernized to the point where as I sit here before you, when I wanted to even name my children African names, heroic names, I'm a Catholic. The Catholic Church, or some, that character, you know, back at home, said, no, I cannot. They'll have to be um, uh, Catholic names. I mean, those Catholic names are European names. I went through a, an argument with this priest, and I said, listen, I have a right to my identity. Don't take away my identity. Okay? I mean... Christianize me if you may, but don't westernize me. There were times, my wife and I is a great a, a graphic artist. We made some beautiful Christmas cards that depicted Christmas in an African setting. And the Christmas cards sold so well, even with Catholic nuns, white Catholic nuns. We wanted to secure the patent. I went to an office, the Registrar General's office, to secure the patent. Can you believe that this fellow African, you know, Registrar General, looking at my black personality, black face, told me that, no, I cannot. This was long after independence, and that it's going to take about three years. I said, why three years? He said, it'll have to go to England. It'll go to England. And it might take about three years before I'm granted the right to that patent or whatever it is that register. In other words, in effect, what I'm trying to say is that, oh, so I have no right to even my creativity. I create my own. You take it away from me and you have to send it to the colonial power. Three years later, when they have reproduced it, and I have no more right to it. So as an African, when you're talking about democracy, etc., let's put it aside. Let me bring you to the current modern situation. We end up with injustice. We end up with corruption. We end up with poverty. We end up with the worst possible things. We end up with the image. I don't have to tell you the image that you have in Africa. I don't have to tell you. Please, I know the potential of humanity. So when you're talking about the effects of some of these things, sometimes... You know, these superpowers must, must learn to accommodate and to live and to accept patriotic leadership, patriotic citizens. Too often, too often, they are, more, they are happier with people who are not patriots. But if, if the media, especially in America, for instance, could give you both sides of the story as pertains to foreign policies and foreign actions. You will bring so much pressure to bear because you, you, you still live in a world with the capacity and the ability to be able to influence your presidents. You can impeach your presidents like in America. So you as a people still have power, unlike us. In Africa, they disempower.